Stephen Curry, LeBron James, the Lakers, and the Warriors, they get their second round series started tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern in the Bay Area. So for more on this series, we welcome in our ESPN reporter who is covering the Lakers, Dave McMenamin. And Dave, earlier in this show, we talked about the task that is slowing down Stephen Curry. What more can you tell us about how the Lakers plan to guard him tonight? Yeah, Malika at Lakers shoot around this morning at Chase Center. We spoke to the two of the guys who would be most important when it comes to trying to stop Steph Curry, Jared Vanderbilt and Dennis Schroeder. And Vanderbilt's point was, hey, it's an entire team defense that needs to have this effort against Steph Curry, pointing out that the Warriors offense has the highest pace of any team in the postseason this year. And while certainly the Lakers defense got used to running when it came to the fast-breaking Memphis Grizzlies, there's less half-court um, uh, play from, from Golden State playing with that type of pace. And then when it comes to the, uh, the Dennis Schroeder's input, when he came into the league, Steph Curry in his second year and in his third year was getting his back-to-back -back MVP. So the entire time Dennis Schroeder's been a pro, he's looked up to another guy playing his position as the greatest player of all time as a shooting point guard. And, and so both these guys recognize we got to try to limit their threes, run mm -hmm. Steph Curry off the line as much as possible, and be ready to get back defensively. Well, and of course, we've, we've heard the X's and O's side of it, Dave. Thank you. But it makes me think back to that quote LeBron James game a couple of years ago. How do you slow him down the same way that you slow me down? You, you really can't. So there has to be some ingredient of that as well. Dave McMenamin, thank you so very much. All right, so that is the Lakers side of things. Let's get to the Warriors side ahead of this massive game one. And for that, we welcome in our reporter covering Golden State, Kendra Anders. Hey, sis, cute photo in the background there. Kendra, can you take us inside <laughs> the film sessions that the Warriors have had over the last couple of days? Yeah, Malika, well, these long, intensive film sessions have been a staple for the Warriors all season, but really this playoff as they've dealt with a lot of tight, quick turnarounds. And yesterday they were held up in Chase Center for hours, just digging through Lakers footage. They watched a lot of film from their series against the Grizzlies that Dave was talking about, and then also some from the regular season and their regular season matchups. But I'm told that the Warriors feel that that film doesn't necessarily paint an accurate picture of what they think this series could look like. You mm. know, LeBron James was in and out for the Lakers, Steph, in and out for the Warriors. The Lakers were without a lot of their key contributors that they have now. The Warriors were without Andrew Wiggins and Gary Payton. So they feel that these are two teams that look quite different than they did in the regular season. But through watching all that film, what the Warriors are focused on is navigating the Lakers' interior presence on both ends. You know, you heard Dave talk about how the Lakers want to run Steph off the three-point line. Well, the Warriors want to take a lot of three-point shots in this series because of AD, Jared Vanderbilt. And then you have a certain player like Kavon Looney, right? right? He was such an X factor for the Warriors in the first series. But Steve Kerr said, I might not be able to play him that way against the Lakers, but we won't know all of that until we actually play one of these games. Let the games of adjustments begin. Kendra Andrews, thank you so very much. Enjoy this game. It is going to be absolutely electric. Yeah, it's me over here. Hello. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.